We've reached mid-October and the action is heating up as teams are in the thick of conference races. We begin this week's Patriot Insider with a look at the DB volleyball team who went on the road for two key road wins. Following a heartbreaking five-set loss at UT Tyler a week ago, the Lady Patriots were in need of a bounce back when they traveled to Austin on Friday to face St. Edwards. DPU dominated from the outset and needed just three sets to blank the Hilltoppers during their 10th win of the season. On Saturday, DPU jumped out to a 2-0 advantage over St. Mary's before dropping the next two sets to even the match at two apiece. In the deciding fifth set, the Lady Patriots regained the momentum, outscoring the Rattlers 15-8 to complete a perfect weekend road trip. Delaney Fuller led DPU with 24 kills and Aaron Walton notched 55 assists for DPU in the comeback win. DBU returns to Dallas this weekend where they face West Texas A&M on Friday night in a showdown between two teams that shared the Lone Star Conference regular season crown last year. I think any win on the road in the Lone Star Conference is a great win. St. Ed's really played awesome against us. They challenged us from a serving standpoint and I was really proud of our passing. Overall, it's awesome to see if you can be a great serving and passing team then I, I'm super excited about that. And so I like how we are progressing in that aspect of our game. St. Mary's is an awesome team. I, I know that they had some injuries and so I feel for them, but they played us tough and they're having a great season. And so really uh, thankful to get a win on that game. And I think to have West Texas coming up at home, I mean, the last time we played them, they beat us. And so we're excited for another shot at home and they're a great team and we know what to expect and we are we're pumped we're fired up on the pitch the ninth ranked dbu women's soccer team battled ut tyler at home on wednesday in a matchup between two of the top teams in the conference scoreless into the 72nd minute freshman hannah montoya gave the patriots the lead with her first career goal with the assist coming from Haley robertson and ann louthan DBU's lead would be short-lived, though, as UT Tyler netted the equalizer with less than five minutes to play. The Patriots could not find the magical moment and finished the match in a 1-1 tie. On Saturday in Lubbock, DBU got back into the win column with a 2-1 victory over Lubbock Christian. Angelina almost got the scoring started early with a goal in the 19th minute to help DBU take a 1-0 lead into the break. Six minutes into the second half, Taylor Tuff scored what proved to be the game winner as the Patriots held off a late rally from the Shaps during their sixth win of the year. The Patriots continue their road trip on Wednesday when they face Sol Ross State and then return home on Saturday to take on West Texas A&M. In men's soccer, DBU made the trek on Wednesday to far West Texas to face Sol Ross State and produced their most goals of the season in a 4-0 win over the Lobos. The Patriots all-time leading goal scorer Peyton Volker put together one of the top performances of his career delivering the game's first two goals and also contributing an assist as DBU earned their first win in conference play. The Patriots' Leo Larson and Dominic Verdi also tallied goals in the victory. DBU remains on the road when they travel to Wichita Falls on Wednesday to face number 22 Midwestern State. The top-ranked women's golf team continued their strong fall with a second-place finish at the National Preview last week. Facing some of the top Division II competition at the Boulder Creek Golf Club in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Patriots shot a record-breaking 54-hole total of 33 under par, led by senior Jordan Carr's third-place finish. Two Patriots earned all tournament team honors, including Carr and Ella Cheek, who finished in fourth place. Freshman Gracie Grant also posted a top-15 finish, placing 14th on the leaderboard, followed by fellow freshman Sydney Robertson, who recorded her first top-20 finish with a 17th place showing. Yeah, it was a good week. We had, um, you know, we struggled a little bit in the first round. We got behind, and then uh, the second and third round, the girls just absolutely destroyed that golf course. So that was fun to, to be a part of, and it was really great to see uh, JoJo play well this week. Had a chance to win there at the end. Um, but we made a lot of birdies from a lot of different girls. Um, yeah, just overall pleased uh, with how we battled back. We were about 11 down at the turn uh, the last round. And uh, took the lead actually with a couple holes left, and then they made a couple long putts, and and we missed a couple. So that's what happens when you don't play well the first round. But overall, pleased. I love this group. We're uh, overall young, uh, but we keep uh, learning and growing. And uh, I feel like they're going to be really good this year if we keep doing what we're supposed to, and and just keep winning the day like we always talk about. So excited about it. Uh, excited about this group uh, of eight we have because uh, all are contributing. You know, it's. Uh, 
it takes everybody. It really does. And uh, they keep buying in. And uh, we got a couple weeks off here before we go to Florida for a big event. And uh, looking forward to that. That's all for this week's Patriot Insider. A reminder to download the DBU Athletics app and also follow us on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, as well as on dbupatriots.com. For this week's Patriot Insider, I'm Reagan Ratcliffe.